Welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're doing a 20 minute postpartum cardio HIIT workout. We're gonna do a short warm up, and then we're gonna do the HIIT exercises, 45 seconds of movement with a 15 second break or setup, and then we'll do a really nice stretch at the end to make it a complete workout. I'm gonna put a bell at the end of each 45 seconds so during the movement, you can actually focus on your form and what you're doing and you don't have to be looking up at the screen. You don't need any equipment for this workout, but we will move, so make sure you have some water to keep hydrated. Let's take our feet hip width distance apart and we can start with some shoulder rolls. Start warming up, going the other way. Let's bring our whole arms into it. Switching directions. Good, and step touch to the side. Take it a little bit lower with some lunges back and forth. Nothing too deep yet. Good, we can take our hands to our hips and we'll do some mini kicks to the front. You don't have to hop, you can just kick your front if you wanna make it low impact. A couple more here. Good, okay, I'm gonna start the timer for 45 seconds on and a 15 second setup. For our first move, we're gonna do reverse fly walks with some lunges. We can come to the side and with lengthened spine, we're going to hinge over and we will reverse fly out as we step and then we're gonna reverse lunge back, repeat the other side. Stay nice and low, core is engaged. For our lateral kicks, we're gonna shift our weight into one side. We're gonna kick three times, switch to the other side. Core is engaged. For our shuffles with eight punches, we're gonna get low, engage our core, move as much as you can, and strong punches back the other way. Doing great. Maybe if I change the way I love it. Maybe if I try to fix this heart, then I could have stayed the night. I could have called you mine. I can't be the one that you need. Maybe if I change the way I love it. Here we're going to do a cross jack 
and knee to elbow. You can hop or keep it low impact and make sure you switch legs each time. Shoulders over wrists, core is engaged, engage your pelvic floor as well. We're gonna do a slight twist in the hip. So we're gauging our in core. When we drop down, we're getting nice and low. We're not bending forward here. If your hands don't go all the way down, that's okay. Core is nice and tight. Again, engaging our core. Hop to either side. You can step for low impact or jump for the full skater move. Really get that back leg behind and across. For the next one, you're gonna come onto your right foot and place all of the weight on your right foot so that your left foot can tap off. And if you have diastasis recti or you've recently been cleared for a C-section, you're going to engage your core and slow taps, knee to elbow, or you don't have to bring your knee all the way up. If you're ready for more, you're gonna add a hop with me.
all of your right now on your left side and low impact or adding a hop. We're gonna do some back kicks. We can either come down into a bent arm position for an extra challenge, core is engaged and kick, or you can come down onto your forearms for modification. Switching legs. Five on each side. Hop in and out, and then do agility hops, where you can hop or you can step back and forth for low impact. Eight here, and agility hops. In and out. Agility hops. Core is engaged, in and out. Agility hops. We're gonna go wide, nice and low. We're gonna pulse here for eight, and then we're gonna hop or step, and go around in the square. For this one, we're gonna move our hips back and forth, engaging our core, punching cross and out. Shake it out. We are done the hip portion 
of the workout. Let's do a cool down and a stretch. Inhale up. You did amazing. Again. Let's stretch to the side, up and over, stretching out through your side body and your ribs. And other side. Good. Let's fold up our mat and we're going to get down on our knees. We'll do a lunge here and you can either stay high or if you want a deeper stretch, you can get down on your hands or even down to your forearms, engaging your core, breathe. Let's come back up and you can either tuck your tailbone under for a nice stretch here or for an even deeper stretch, bending your back foot for a nice quad stretch. Good, releasing it. Let's turn our hips to the front. We can stretch out to the side. You can drop your hip down. Good. Bring that leg in. We'll do that on the other side. Nice lunge here. You can stay up high or for a deeper stretch. Go further down. And engaging your core, pushing through your foot and your hands, coming up. You can grab our back ankle or simply tuck your hip bones under. Good. Releasing it. We'll shift. Have this foot out to the side. And again, you can drop that hip down to get a nice stretch through your groin there. Good. And we can bring that leg in and we'll make our way back to a seated position. When I teach in person, I always have cards that moms can pick from at the end for a little bit of inspiration. I actually have five cards here and I've labeled them one, two, three, four, or five. So pick a number in your head, one through five, and write it down or just know it in your head. And in a minute, I'm going to tell you what each of the cards says, or you can also go down to the description box to see what it says. But we are done. You did amazing. That was not an easy workout, really heavy on the cardio. So great job for making it all the way through. I'm going to keep making postpartum workouts every week. If you like videos like these and to support me, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up and share it with another mom friend or mom community that you think would enjoy it. You can also head down to the description box and I have free resources for moms. I have my complete guide on how I healed my four finger diastasis recti gap after my pregnancy. I have a monthly postpartum workout plan where you get a new workout for every day of the month. I also have a free course that I put together as a dietitian and a bariatric educator that talks about brain science and behavior change to reach the goals that you want to reach. Card number one is trust. Card number two is inspire. Card number three is forgive. Card number four is self-love. And card number six is gratitude. Let me know in the comments below which one you picked. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you, and I hope to see you in the next video.